I do have a big family. I've got 17 siblings. I'm the youngest on my mum's side. She grew up as a single mother. I had to work away to provide for the family and my sisters brought me up. She wasn't too excited about me playing footy at first. Now I've got her on my side and, you know, she's my biggest supporter now. I deferred a uni, got picked up by Adelaide Crows, done the pre-season in Darwin and then played for the Crows for the first year, which was very exciting, very new. It happened all so quickly for me. After the season finished, I decided to not go back to Adelaide Crows. I had a bit of break, just mentally, physically. I wasn't prepared. Just needed to find myself and find my passion for footy again. Just being from Northern Territory, being Indigenous, you know, you had all that pressure. Like, I had people on my back telling me I had to play, you know, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And I think that was intimidating. And at the time I was so young and, you know, all the pressure was on. So I did fall out of love for, for a bit. Going back to Darwin, you know, going back out hunting, going back out to the islands, just being at peace with myself, having that time off to mentally prepare for the spotlight again. Being in Darwin, you see Indigenous girls playing footy and then just stop at a certain point. And I think that's where I regained my passion and started being a mentor out of school so that I can teach these kids like when something goes hard, like you don't just quit, you keep going. I didn't want any other Indigenous girl to go through what I just done. So I ended up getting the role as a development officer with Role Models and Leaderships Australia at Timberman College. So I grew up in Humpty Doo. I done my schooling in Darwin. So it felt right to go back and um, be a role model to those students. I felt like I was playing better because I was just having fun. That's what Gold Coast came to me and was like, you know, just, just be you. And I fell in love with the club straight away, just, just by that little saying. As an 18 year old, I got told I was a leader, but in my heart, I didn't believe that. Now, I, I believe I am a leader. The fact that Gold Coast has a couple of Indigenous girls on the team as well, I, I, I want to take them under my wing. Kicks it to a contest and once again, Thorne's there. Takes a really good mark. I'm excited to see how far the club goes, like what we're going to achieve as a group and just exceeding everyone's expectations as a new club. I'm still in disbelief. Hopefully when the season comes, you know, everything will be worth it.